from the Weather NorCal Command Center, this is your morning update. Chance Meats and Grocery is much more than a grocery store. We carry a full line of quality meats, local and organic vegetables, and a large variety of fish, Green Mountain Smart Control pellet grills, and a full deli case of sandwiches and side dishes. Good morning to you all. I'm Chief Meteorologist Mike Kruger. Let's get you through Kruger's Quick Cast for your Tuesday August 27th. As we head out the door this morning, you know, temperatures are still going to be on the cool side, but you may notice the temperatures may be just a tad warmer than they have been, about 65 degrees in the valley, mid 60s, give or take. Temperatures mid to upper 50s for the coast and not to mention the higher elevations. Really, overall, that's kind of the overall trend there. Anywhere between 55 and 60 degrees there for the most part. And of course, for the valley, in the mid 60s out there this morning. So yeah, not a bad start to the day. And of course, we take a look at future cast, not much in the way of cloud cover. I mean, even the coast, you're not seeing much in the way of that cloud cover either. So making for a gorgeous Tuesday for you. Of course, going into Tuesday night, we may see some of that fog develop here around the Eureka area, southward into the uh, uh, Highway 101 corridor there. But for today, I'm expecting those temperatures to be warmer in the valley. Uh, so we're talking mid to upper 90s for your daytime highs. Not quite 100 degrees today yet, but it will be close as we go into the next few days. Temperatures, 80s, not quite reaching the 90s for most spots, although it looks like out towards uh, Susanville about 92. And of course, in Trinity County, low to mid 90s there. And then for the coast, temperatures in the upper 60s uh, for your daytime highs. So yeah, it's warming up a little bit here, even for the coast. So we look at your seven-day outlook for the valley. Yeah, I think about 100 degrees here for Redding in particular for Wednesday, Thursday. And then about, I think Thursday will kind of be that peak. And then temperatures will slowly start to trend downward by Friday and even more so by the weekend and into early next week. For the coast, yeah, temperatures up to around upper 60s to about 70 through Thursday, even Friday. Mid 60s return though by the weekend. Now for the inland areas and for Weaverville, they're going up and then back down again for this weekend and early next week. And that's the trend for pretty much everyone in Northern California, because by the weekend, early next week, uh, we're back down into the low 80s for Mount Shasta, Alturas, and Susanville here. Really Susanville, more like the mid 80s, but you get the idea. All right, that's Kruger's quick cast. Let's get you through the deeper dive forecast for those of you that like, like a lot more detail. That's what I'm known for around here weather norcal so let's get you to it summer heat it is returning here now we've already noticed it yesterday we're going to notice it more so today tomorrow or the rest of the week triple digit heat is what i'm expecting for some of us in the valley but this is not the triple digit heat that we hate right well nobody likes triple digit heat in general i think most people don't so but we're not talking 105 we're not talking 110 115 we're talking 100 maybe 102 tops in some spots here. That's it. So, and then it drops again because we have a cooling trend going into the weekend. And looking at the long range, I am not seeing any major heat waves here anytime soon. Real quick update on the fires here. Keep in mind, these are updates from last night. A lot of the new data coming in uh, is coming, comes in shortly after I record these actually. But as of last night, you know, the park fire is now up to about 85% containment. We take you up to the north and west, out to the Boise fire, looking at some good containment there. These are containment lines that I have updated. You can see the south end of the fire there too, getting some containment here. 43% containment as of Monday night. So again, these are numbers are just getting better and better. And yes, we did see that bear fire break out yesterday, uh, but they were able to get a handle on it very quickly. So let's just hope that this is it. Let's hope we can get through the park fire and get through the Boise fire and make it through the rest of the season without any major fires. Can we do that? Let's see if we can do that. All right, <laughs> here you can see those winds. They're kind of picking up a little bit this afternoon, but shouldn't be that much of a concern. And it looks like the winds are dying down even more by the time we get into your Wednesday. But again, on that flip side, we talk about the humidity levels and they will be low. They're going to be in the single digits for many of us in the valley here for today. And for your Wednesday, it looks like it'll be even a little bit drier. Now, one of those reasons is the temperatures are going up. As the temperature goes up, we typically see the humidity levels begin to go down. So we look at our fire weather risk. Yesterday, you may recall, just a lot of green on the map indicating low. Today, we're kind of in that moderate range here for the valley. And then we're getting in that moderate to just barely within that high range for the north end of the valley. Again, it's mainly just because it is warming up, humidity levels going up. But the, the good news is the winds aren't terribly strong. 
long. So the only thing that would cause a fire to spread rapidly would just be the dry fuels in general. So you can see there's an area of low pressure right here spinning. It's not very close to us. But what it is doing is just as it passes to our north, it may bring us a couple of these clouds associated with this frontal boundary right here. That's going to be the extent of it. We've got high pressure building in, and that high pressure is what's going to really help those temperatures to increase a bit as we go into the next few days. But looking at future cast, we saw today, of course, looking at those uh, mainly clear skies, a little bit of fog tomorrow morning uh, for parts of the coast, and then that clears out here for tomorrow afternoon. Plenty of sunshine, not even much in the way, if any, those afternoon cumulus clouds. So we take a look at later on in the week, especially this weekend. Still picking up on the potential for some monsoon moisture making its way to the northeast parts of the state. Modoc County, maybe eastern La uh, Siskiyou County, uh, and into the, uh, into the Sierra as well. You can see some afternoon thunderstorms trying to pop up with that monsoon moisture. It may just creep as far west as those places I just mentioned. But overall, I'm not putting in the forecast just yet. I'm going to just wait for a little bit more consistency, give it a day or two, and then we can kind of forecast that with a little bit more confidence. But in the meantime, of course, we're still looking at dry conditions after that going into early next week. So there is that cooler air riding to our north that moves off to the north and east. Meanwhile, we've got some, you know, more mild air that's kind of approaching closer. This is a bubble of heat that's going to be building in over the next few days. So again, we see the temperatures get up to around 100 degrees or slightly higher by tomorrow, by Thursday and Friday. And then this starts to kind of push closer. This is a weak area of low pressure. doesn't have terribly cold air associated with it, but it is more mild air. So it's gonna push that heat to our east and temperatures will start to drop, especially for the second half of the weekend and into early next week. We'll have to see if those temperatures start to increase. It looks like they will increase again as we go through the middle and latter part of next week. Now, speaking of the temperatures, let's take a look at the month of August. And this is something I've been talking about really all, all month long after the, that first little heat wave that we did see. We saw a little break at the very beginning of the month on that Saturday, 97 degrees, but then we were back up to 100 degrees or higher through the 11th. Now, after that, that's when we saw that nice break in those temperatures. Yes, I mean, it was still warm, right? That first week with temperatures mainly in the mid to even some upper 90s, but below normal for this time of the year. And then that weekend, two weekends ago, we were in the 80s for those daytime highs. Absolutely gorgeous. Again, it warmed up a little bit here, but then back down to the 80s by Thursday, 70s last weekend, remember that? And of course, back up to 90 on Sunday, 96 degrees yesterday, but still below normal. But I think what's gonna to start to happen is, we'll not only be near average, uh, but we will be looking at above average. We're gonna start seeing more of these orange colors in here as we go through the rest of this week because it's beginning to warm up. We've been spoiled the last few weeks and that's what we have in store for us. So there's the above average temperatures we have ex is for the rest of the week, as early as today, especially for Reading. And then Saturday still above average. And then we drop down below that again. We see a nice dip in those temperatures by Sunday, Monday. But then they'll probably start to go back up closer to normal by Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday of next week. So yes, a, a slight roller coaster ride. No major increases, no major drops. But we're not looking at major heat waves. That's the good news. The wave heights today, you'll notice they are increasing. And as a result, there is a small crack advisory later this afternoon. Looks like those wave heights will still be fairly high even into your Wednesday. So most likely that small crack advisory, not only for this afternoon, but probably even going into tomorrow. Now the wind's not that bad this morning, but they will be picking up this afternoon. That's what we're looking at this afternoon's forecast with those north winds at 20 to 25 knots. Your waves will eventually get up to about uh, uh, four feet from the north at about six seconds and from the northwest at two feet at about 10 seconds. All right, so again, your marine forecast, not that bad this morning, but it is uh, progressively getting worse through the day. Here's your Trinity County neighborhood forecast. Your temperature is low to mid nineties for your daytime highs. It's beginning to warm up out there. There you can see out towards Blue Lake about 75, 91 for Garberville, 90 in Alder Point and Fortuna about 73 degrees. Looking pretty dry for the next seven days here. There you can see your inland seven day forecast. We could touch hundred degrees in some spots here uh, as early as even tomorrow, Thursday and Friday but then back down into the 80s by Sunday and into Monday. Your Siskiyou County neighborhood forecast, you know, Siskiyou County, you got to love it, right? You're 92 degrees for Happy Camp, but then you go over to Doris and you're 79, right? So some of these higher elevations of the north and east typically see those cooler temperatures. Uh, 87 for uh, Wairika, 
There you can see wheat about 84 and McLeod about 87 degrees for that daytime high. Let's take you off into Modoc County. There you can see out towards uh, Canby about 86, 85 for Alturas, California Pines about 86, 85 degrees for Fort Bidwell and Cedarville about 83 degrees. Here's your Eastern Mountains neighborhood forecast, 93 degrees for Greenville, Shingletown 86, much cooler in Viola, not a bad spot, 79 degrees there, 89 for Paradise and there you can see Portola about 87 degrees. Here's your Valley neighborhood forecast forecast to the south, 96 degrees in Chico, 95 for Oroville, 96 for Corning and Elk Creek, about 95 degrees. Up north, yeah, we're up to about 98 for Reading. So not quite reaching those triple digits just yet for today. But again, that's going to be changing here as we look at that seven-day outlook for Reading. Up to 100 degrees by Wednesday, 102 Thursday, back down to 100 on Friday. So yes, it's the middle and latter part of the week. That we're kind of in that peak of that warming trend. Then for those of you that have a three-day weekend, it's going to start off fairly warm, right? Friday 100, Saturday 98, but then back down to the low 90s by Sunday and into your Labor Day. That's your morning update. Be sure to, of course, watch Coffee with Kruger at 7 a.m. That is live. It's also interactive. And I'll be right back here at noon for your afternoon update. Where are the locals down the street? The neighbor you come to for advice. A nest egg for the golden years. A loan or a new account for that growing business. What started in Chico 50 years ago has taken us all around California, providing big bank lending power and high tech service while keeping our relationships personal. We're still the locals down the street, no matter where your street might be. Tri-Counties Bank, California's local bank.